for me, the interesting thing is that this knowledge can be used today. Um, we can use it to create algorithms, algorithms and a mathematics that is useful for quantum computing. There is a colleague that uses math with eight codes that follows the same principles of these mathematics I've been learning about for already quantum computing applications. So I'm certain that our mathematics will be used for that. We can use it for different forms of algorithms that explain social events, predictable social events, uh, cultures, the behavior of cultures, the pattern of cultures, the meme of cultures. You know about the meme, these uh, subconscious collective patterns that a culture carry. We can describe it and find them there. Um, so as a conclusion, we can say that um, humanity is the expression of a code. And if that is true, if that is true, then this code uh, should be correlated to the human DNA. So I did discover different stages of evolution of the human being that can be explained through those codes. And I found where we are now and what can be we become. And there is a path described through this encoding. Now, as a trainer of martial arts and arts and teaching all of these things, I had the possibility to facilitate challenges and activities, methods to people to help them evolve, to develop more emotional intelligence, brain performance and so on. And I know it's possible, it's possible very quick, it works. How far we can go with that, I know. I know that our civilization has a challenge which is emotional intelligence. And I know that exactly this point we need to do a shift in the way we create technology so that technology don't displace humans but technology works in collaboration with humans and humans keep evolving with emotions if we don't do that change you know we're going to create a lot more travels not only for for climate or for the planet but for our civilization mm -hmm.